What's up, everybody? This is Jackson DeBasquale here with Fight Media, and we are at, in the Coach's Corner again. This time we're here with Alito head football coach, Coach Robbie Jones. Coach, thanks for being here, um, and let's jump right into it. You know, last year uh, was your first year uh, as the head coach of Alito. Um, you know, Coach Buchanan was there and laid down the foundation of what has, is one of, one of, if not the brand of Texas high school football um, just talking about last year being your first year, what, how did you feel it went? Obviously winning state, but overall, what was year one like for you? Uh, it was, it was a good year. Uh, of course, you know, going 16 and 0 and winning state is always a, a great year. Uh, you know, being on staff here at Alito now, this being my 25th year coming up, uh, has helped me prepare for the situation and, and got me ready for it. Coach Buchanan did a really good job of, you know, in the, the previous couple of years, he knew he was going to retire soon and he wanted me to take over for him. So he was, you know, giving me some advice. Hey, look, when this comes up, you need to be doing this. You need to do this, you know, in certain situations and things like that. So, you know, he did a good job of, of setting me up for success. So, Coach, um, you mentioned it, 16-0 winning state. Um, what was that feeling like? You know, you had been there doing that as an office coordinator, but now you're the head coach. What's that like, um, you know, winning it as a head coach for the first time? You know, I don't know if there was much difference in winning it as a head coach as opposed to, you know, the, the offensive coordinator spot where while I was offensive coordinator, we won 10 state championships. And, you know, there's just a lot of relief uh, at the end. Uh, you know, the, the, there's such pressure on you each and every year, especially here in Alito, to to go and do what we did last year. And when you're able to go do it, you know, there's just a lot of relief, you know, not as you know, as much joy. You know, and that was what I realized, you know, the first state championship we won uh, while I was here in 2009. You know, I thought there was going to be a lot more joy, but there's just a lot more relief at the end that you, know, you, you got there and you finished the deal and you're just extremely happy for the kids that were involved in it and, and everybody else. Coach, just talking about Alito in, ge in general, there's that tradition. There's the, and you know, there's been tons of athletes going to the next level. There's just, there's something about Alito that there's just some magic that happens there uh, for the football program. Um, talking about what do you think it is just about that Alito community that uh, y'all are able to kind of just not even rebuild. It's almost just reload up into a new year. Right. You know, I think it's just the expectations that people have here in Alito. They have uh, high expectations of themselves. Uh, we have most of the families that live in Alito are, are highly successful in whatever field in which they've gone into. That translates to their kids seeing that work ethic that their parents had put in. And then, you know, the parents allow us to to work their kids as hard as we we need to work them. You know, uh, the the kids of Alito are not afraid of work. Uh, when they show up every day, they they come in ready to put in work. Okay, whatever it is we're asking them to do. Uh, this summer they're showing up and and they're getting their performance course uh, work in. Uh, they're doing that for an hour and a half, and then uh, they work with their individual position coaches for about thirty minutes. You know, we were going an hour. Now we've cut it down to about thirty minutes. Uh, every other day. So, you know, they're, they're not afraid to work and they know what it takes to be successful. And, and that's what they go and do. And, and, and the big thing is the parents allow us to coach their kids hard. Uh, they want us to push their kids. They're going to make sure that their kids are here. We're going to, when we start with the freshmen uh, on August the 5th, uh, because we have teacher in service that week, we're starting at, at 5 15 in the morning with those guys and our parents were to make sure that all those kids are here and, and on time and getting the work in. So, Coach, now, you know, new year is almost here. New season's almost here. We're about a month, maybe a little over a month away um, from the beginning of the season. Um, you know, last year's team, y'all had uh, a ton of talent, some of that talent in a way, especially quarterback Haas Haney, who's at TCU now. But you return a lot of star players as well. You've got Caden Finley coming back. You've got Racine Guillory coming back. Uh, just talk about this upcoming year, who you're looking to kind of lean on uh, as some of that talent graduated last year. Yeah, those two guys that you mentioned, they're going to be a big part of our offense. Uh, Caden uh, split out at receiver. We've moved him uh, to a different position where we can try to get the ball in his hands a little bit more than what we were able to uh, his freshman and sophomore year. You know, and then Ray, once Ray gets 100% healthy, uh, he's a difference maker uh, for us. You know, 
uh, he's he's got the all the elite ability that you can have as a running back and he's of course a highly recruited guy at that spot most of the college coaches that come in and talk to me about Ray say hey coach he's our number one target at running back in his class and and there's a reason for that he's a really really good football player he's uh he's got that smile that's just contagious makes you just you know love the kid to death you know but we got to get him healthy uh, and then uh, you know, we got Peyton Williams. Uh, Peyton Williams got hurt during spring this year. He hasn't been able to work out. Uh, he just got out of his boot. I believe it was right before the 4th of July, but he's still not 100%. So, you know, one of our big keys, you know, going into this is to get some of these uh, of our better players healthy. Uh, Carson Dempsey's another one. Carson Dempsey has a uh, Division One offer at defensive end. He was hurt for, I believe it was, he missed six games last year. He had appendicitis in the middle of, of the season. Uh, still led our team in sacks, but he's got a, an injury that's keeping him out of all the summer workouts right now. So our, our main focus right now is trying to get healthy uh, with those guys so that we can continue to uh, improve. Uh, we're not doing that right now with those guys not out on the field. Uh, another guy that we're looking to lean on quite a bit offensively is going to be Gavin Beard. Gavin Beard uh, is a really good quarterback. He's just been behind Hoss Haney the last couple of years. Uh, he's going to get his opportunity. He did get one start last year against Brewer. Uh, had a really good game. Uh, he, he and Caden have kind of grown up together. So, you know, he and Caden, you know, during that game uh, is probably the most catches Caden had all year. And it's because, you know, Beard, you know, in his first start, he's looking for that familiar target. And he found uh, Caden a little bit more in that game. So, Coach, last thing we got for you here, you know, um, just talking about, you, you know, year one state, year two, just kind of what are your what are your expectations for the team this year? Expectations are always the same. Uh, we expect to win every football game. I know that's, you know, not always going to be the case. Uh, when, and I think we're going to have a hard time early in the year next year because, you know, like I said, just talked about, we've got some guys that that are injured. And we're not sure that they're going to be 100% when we start uh, playing football in August and have to go against Denton Guy and Lancaster in the first two ball games. Uh, you know, so, you know, the expectations are always the same around here. Uh, we, we plan on, you know, we schedule our schedule all the way through uh, December go, leading up into Christmas because that's been, the you know, the case here. I think 12 of the last 15 years uh, we've played in the state championship game and, and won 11 of those. So, uh, the expectations are always there. Uh, now, with the, the as few of returning starters as we have this year, we we expect that you know the start of the year is not going to be as smooth as what it was last year. Uh, we're going to go into two really tough football games with a lot of experience, and some of our our guys that are experienced they're they're injured right now. And hopefully, we get those guys healthy and, and roll into the season. But uh, there's no guarantee right now. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, this has been a pleasure getting to talk to you, and this has been the Vibe Coaches Corner here, and we'll see you out in the field. All right. Thank you.